Welcome to my garden party. Thank you. Now, we're still digging out of a little snow around the country, yeah. but we have everything you need because we've got the Field Smith double decker wagon back, and you're going to use it right now for your firewood, and then you're going to be ready for all the fun visits to the beach and the pool or whether mm -hmm. you're getting ready to get the garden ready. This is a serious wagon that is called the double decker. It's our biggest and best wagon we've ever offered here at HSN. And Luca Puto is our expert guest. This comes from our friends at Origami, it right? It does, yeah. They Imagine actually uh, make the Max Sports wagon. And this wagon only weighs 25 pounds. It's collapsible. You can take it with you. And it'll hold up to 150 pounds. So this is an awesome device to have in your home. I'm going to walk around the front. I want to show everybody okay. how this works, okay? Perfect. Because, you know, when we say it's collapsible, first of all, this is how it's going to come to you. So it's totally flat like mm -hmm. this. Well, not totally flat, but very, very close to it. Um, I'm going to take the cover off. It is included with it. The cover's great for storage purposes, but honestly, once I take it off, I rarely put it on. I'm going to pull this <laughs> off here. I mean, unless I'm going to like have it put it away for a long time. I'm going to pull the cover off of this. Now, this particular color I'm using here is the eggplant. Now, watch how easy this is to set up. There's some hook and loop fasteners right here on the handle. You undo these just like this. Ready? Don't blink. Here we go. That's it. Ta-da! <laughs> <I know. laughs> you it's have like, a wagon! You know, it's a little anticlimactic sometimes because it's so easy to do. You feel like it should be more effort, but it's not. <laughs> and then if you want to close it, there's a toggle inside of this. You just grab this and you pull up like that. And if the wheels are in the right direction, it folds flat. So very, very simple. Now, some of the features on it, Sarah, mm -hmm. this is all powder-coated steel all the way around, okay? So you've got a frame that's going to be very, very durable. Um, you know, when you're using it. And that's why I'm very comfortable taking ours to the beach where the salt water is and all that. It's not gonna affect it. As you can see here, you can take it with you anywhere you go because it's very, very easy to store because it does fall flat. Um, also, you can hang it by the, um, by the handle on the wall. If oh, you want to fantastic. save a little floor space. Yeah. yeah, well, that's the thing. Not everybody has a huge garage. So this is a great one for somebody who maybe doesn't have that garage. Now, other features on this. Let's look at the handle on the front here. I'm going to roll this so you can see that. Uh, there's a little red button here on the side. If I press this button right here, it releases the handle from the frame. Okay? So ordinarily, for storage purposes, that handle's in there. And I hate a wagon that has a handle just floppy. Oh, just so you, annoying. You know what I'm talking Every about? Every time you set it down, Every time. The With this, falls. you press the button, that comes off. Now, there's another adjustment right here. There's a little knob I just flipped. I can adjust the height of the handle. So if you're a shorter person, you might want to leave it down here. If you're tall, you pull it all the way out, it locks into place too. So that's how we control the wagon. Now, the wheels on this are what we call non-pneumatic tires. That means there's no air in them. Okay, oh. these are solid rubber tires. Sounds so like a good thing. It is a good thing, because <laughs> you never have to worry that they're going to go flat. They, now, the front tires are fully articulated. They will spin in 360 degrees. But the neat thing is if I push this out just a little bit, it turns on its own radius. Look at this. Check okay, that so in out. a tight space, like maybe in the big box stores, home improvement stores, mm -hmm. you can maneuver yourself through the aisles. Last thing, and this is why we call it the double decker, there's a shelf on the bottom here. You fold this down, and now all of a sudden, you've got extra storage space on the that. bottom for longer it's... things like umbrellas and beach chairs. I mean, sure. Yeah. If you've got, you know, I'm thinking about my paddles. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. You know, if you've got snorkeling gear or, mm -hmm. you know, all those fun little things that Hockey you're taking. Sticks, anything on. Yeah, sports equipment, yeah. baseball bats. I mean, you never know what you're going to need. Right. If you've got a family, if you've got friends, and if you're going places, you need a wagon that can do those kind of fun, heavy lifting jobs. You know, even just for a picnic. Who wants to carry a heavy cooler of ice and cold drinks That's all right. the way across the hot sand mm -hmm. or a big, you know, lawn or to get you all the way from the parking spot to that little perfect spot by the lake. This is your perfect opportunity. It's $40 off. So we have a huge clearance price for you. I don't know why we're doing clearance when it's the beginning of our spring season, but jump in and take advantage, and then I'll give you an update on all of our fun colors. Yeah, actually, let's talk about the colors. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't we talked about We started with eggplant, So right? we got the eggplant. Behind me here is the, of course, classic little red wagon. Then here we've got our beautiful turquoise blue. Mm -hmm. We've got a forest green. Oh, that's the most limited here. Turquoise, yeah. yeah. We have fewer than 100 to go around now in the turquoise. The forest green color. Oh, that's great. Isn't that all neat? your gardening supplies. Yeah. That will just kind of blend in. And then the last one we've got is what we call the navy geo color. It's a navy blue with a geometric pattern on it. So you've got a nice choice of different colors, different patterns on them. That's, that's the a fun thing. Capacity. Well, let's talk about that for a second because Holy what's cow. in here right now is what's on the table behind you. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll move move my so, 
Let me do this. If I pull this Floral one out, if I pull this out a little bit and I slide it right here, just to give okay. you a little perspective, everything on this table, and this is probably enough groceries for a week, okay? Mm -hmm is sitting inside of the double-decker wagon right now. And we've actually, and look, we're even using the bottom shelf a little so, bit. We've got some soda down there. If I was to carry this all by hand Good luck. into the house <laughs> or into the garage, How many trips? I'd be like, okay, hang on, kids. I'll be right there. Right. Okay, wait, I got a couple more loads. And then think about all that back-breaking work. This is something you could actually take into oh, one yeah. of those warehouse stores. Yes, you could. Instead of your shopping cart, and then, I mean, they don't even give you bags anymore. Yeah, what, well, why do we call it a big box store if we don't get boxes? What's that about? You know what I'm saying? This is the you truth. Don't get That's a box what happens. Or a bag. You're carrying those giant tubs of peanut no, butter they, and they mayonnaise nothing. out to your car. Right. And think about all the times that you're carrying things that you wish you had a wagon. I love that it collapses because if you do want to throw it in your trunk or mm -hmm. the back of your SUV and you want to take it with you. Wow, when you unpack from the gardening center, that's when you really need a wagon. Oh yeah, no, right? that's the truth too. Well, and I hate having to do double duty, like move something from, you know, my shopping cart into another cart to get right. it where I need it to be. This is a nice way where you can have everything in there. And I like the fact, you know, mine, I've used it to go to the beach a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I've used it to actually move stuff when we were moving from one house to another. That, that'll be. That's a big one. Come in handy. Um, I've used it to carry pavers. Like pavers oh, for the yeah. garden inside of it. Mulch. I mean, well, look right here. We've got two bags of mulch in the back of this. Now, remember, this has a 150-pound capacity, okay? So we've got plants. We've got hoses. Look at the bottom shelf. Let me move this along so you can see how long those are. We've got all of our gardening implements down there. I mean, so this is going to be your best friend when you're working outside mm -hmm. in the garden. How does it go, like, over terrain? You know what? Here's the funny thing. So you look you know, at the tires. You know, if you're on grass or yeah, sand no, or it, bricks or... Oh, if you look at the tires on this, I've never had a problem, of course, on any hard pavement or anything like that. I've never had any problems with it on grass. And even in sand, and you would think because the tires are a little more on the skinny side, that they might be a little problem. They plow a little bit, but I have loaded ours down, and we live right by the beach, and I use it out there all the time, and it's so mm -hmm. much easier than me carrying everything. Right. I mean, think about it. I mean, you don't want to, like, throw your back out. No. You know, just picking up. I That's mean, so honestly, the heaviest thing is, like, dog food. Yeah. Because why? You buy it in 40-pound bags. You know, where, what are you going to do with it? you, you got to put it somewhere. So right. if you're carrying uh, groceries home, if you live in an apartment or a condo, oh, this uh, is a I great... like to do all of my, you know, shopping, just walking around the neighborhood. Sure. And then I don't want to have to have any everything delivered. Right. You can't always, you know, if you've got an elevator, you can bring it right up to your apartment door. Oh, it's perfect. You could take laundry across the street to the laundry that, mat. That's what I was thinking. Right. You were right thinking there. of laundry? I was thinking, well, because I've lived in a city before and I know like I if you have too. to go to the laundry mat or just you up and walk? down to the laundry room if it's in the basement exactly this is the easy way to do it. well and for me you know like the beach thing right here as you see and actually we did this on purpose notice how we've got this is one of those pop-up tent things we yeah. put it on the top just to show you if you carry everything up here the long stuff it takes up a tremendous amount of space okay mm -hmm. now look at the shelf and how we use that we actually put the beach chairs and umbrella and things underneath there it's a much more efficient use of space and I still had room for for all the towels and and for a cooler, I mean, in, in here. So mm -hmm. this makes a much easier trip. Now, let's talk to our friends up north for a second. Because okay. I know there are people sitting up there looking at us, scratching their heads, going like, it's not spring here where we are. I know, you wish you were going okay. to the beach. You wish you were going to the pool. By the way, if you want that turquoise, uh, we're going to say last call on the turquoise. Again, we still have the forest green, the red, the eggplant, and one is called that navy geoprint. Uh, it's kind of fun, too. Now, let me show you this, because this is easily... You know, got to be 50, 60 pounds of firewood. And this is all firewood. There's no newspaper or anything underneath this. This is all firewood all the way down in here. So for those of you up north where it's still snowing and cold, I know you're carrying firewood around on your property, maybe from your car or truck mm. to the side of the house. Guess what, guys? You can load this with firewood. Remember, up to 150 pounds. That's a lot of firewood. And yet, yeah. look how easily. You just easily. brought back so many memories. <laughs> <laughs> memories or nightmares? Of, Which one was uh, it? It was more of a nightmare <laughs> of living in Minnesota for 10 years. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we would have to carry our firewood from a garage that was behind our house. Oh, sure. 